So what they should do is they can grip See? it with their little claws and slowly climb up with their beak and then stick their head out of the hole, hopefully. Well, they're looking to put out probably somewhere between 25 and 30 um, down along the redevelopment at Forestville Reserve, Cromer Parade and some of the close adjoining streets. So it'll be fabulous. There are lots of trees there, but most of them are not old enough to have developed hollows in the first place. So by adding these nest boxes to the trees, it, it adds significantly to the habitat that's there already. The bird flies up to the groove over here and then its claws hook onto the groove and it puts its head inside and then it jumps inside and it lands over here. Many of the common species that we uh, see around Adelaide, particularly things like Adelaide rosellas and rainbow lorikeets, will love those sorts of boxes. It's like a wiggly snake. This is the sawdust. We're putting them. Yeah, we're putting them in the, the bottom. It's like a nest to make yeah. it soft. And that's where the eggs will lay. Yeah. And it's um, well, good because cats can't get in and most predators, well, bees can, but yeah. And they actually have some resources, including video cameras, where the kids can come back and check what's using the boxes, how often they're using the boxes, how many animals are in there, and see firsthand, real life, what the habitat they were able to create contributed to their environment. We hope we to, hope see, to some see some birds, birds like living in there. If parrots. it would be parrots, then that would be really good. Uh, area in here, couple. couple oh, about ten. Like, ten. Yeah, remember, ten. he said like um there were eight Probably. birds in there. No six. 